Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to touch on a hot topic. We're going to talk about the cost of self-filming hunts. Before I get started with today's video, please take a second. If you like our content, please subscribe to the channel and uh, like this video. Whenever I say cost of filming your hunts, I'm not talking about money. Um, we all have a, probably a very expensive cell phone in our pocket. You can log on to Amazon and get a $30 tripod or a little $30 um, gorilla pod or something to hang from your stand and then there you go you got you a self filming setup more specifically what I want to talk about is the cost of maybe losing a trophy buck or hey just even meeting the freezer for me the priority is getting it all on film uh, I've hunted for a long time I think I've killed my share of game and uh, my passion is really trying to get the experience the emotion uh captured on film so take a second and comment down below is you know harvesting the game more important or getting it all on film it's the 2021 2022 deer season for us here in alabama and uh, i've been self filming i think going on three years and uh there's been a couple of experiences that i've had where i've boogered up a hunt and spooked off some deer trying to get the perfect shot on camera before you know trying to harvest the animal um so specifically today and this is what brought up this topic today i was out there it was a windy brisk day waited 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 finally about 15 minutes before final shooting light i had a little small deer come in and uh i was just going to harvest it because it's been a while since i harvested deer with my bow and trying to get the perfect shot the, caused the deer to be a little bit spooky i mean he was probably on edge uh due to the high wind anyway but uh, just trying to get that perfect shot cost me harvesting the animal when the deer first walked out reach up to turn on the action camera and he looks up at me so i had to freeze there for a moment when he puts his head back down and starts back feeding i was able to reach over and turn on the audio equipment Once I got on the deer and my exposure was correct, I wanted to zoom in and get a real good composition and I'd get a real quality shot of the deer feeding. The LCD display on the main camera is kind of small, so I gotta keep my eyes on the deer and back and forth between the deer and the camera to make sure the deer don't spook and the composition of the camera is correct. After filming the deer for a few minutes, he eases off into the edge of the woods and disappears for a while. After about five or 10 minutes, the deer pops back up about 40 yards away from me. I have to hastily reach up and turn the action camera on, get the main camera oriented towards him, set the exposure, and start filming. Thank you. 
did come back out. I had already made my mind up I was going to attempt to harvest this deer. I was trying to keep my movements to a minimum. Uh, kept the camera on him and arranged him a couple times. It was starting to get dark, but he was hung up around 40 yards. And I wanted him to get a little bit closer. He ended up coming in to about 25 yards. I reach up, get my bow. Several attempts of ranging him and he eased out of frame of the camera. I had to reframe the camera, get a better composition. Uh, and right before last shooting light, I made an attempt to draw my bow back and he spooked, turned and ran a little bit behind the feeder. He stayed in the field. Uh, so at that point, I just kind of gave up and decided to watch him. And, see how long he was going to stay there before I could come down. But that about wraps it up. Thanks for tuning in. Again, please, if you like this content, take a second, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hey, even share it with a friend. See you next time.